we are back in Star Trek Online. Now it appeared, when we last left off, uh, we discovered that the true way, uh, in addition to dealing with Mirror Universe, also it has some sort of agreement with the Dominion, or at least the Alpha Quadrant Dominion. And we have discovered the location of some sort of factory, probably a catch cell light factory. So we are going to go take a look at that in a minute. Let's go through some of these uh, duty officer missions real quick. Success. And there are some failures here. So let's see what we can do. None of those. This will give me a lot of erotic points. Cripple Vulcan Science Station. Trade with minor species. Ooh, evaluate Noskin. Uh, right, tactical bridge officer and the science bridge officer. This one will obviously do. We have a good 29% a chance of me getting a uh, purple, a uh, rare one. So let's do that and let's do that too. Espionage, and what, I think medical was at level two. Oh, medical's not. Already got the colonial ones ready to go. Can't do any more of those. Whoops. Can I even do any more? I don't actually think I can. Oh, I can. Let's find something that's going to give a lot of points, no matter which category it is. Exploration. One there. These two probably would be good. And they're the same. Same personnel even, so we'll just go with that one. Okay, now we're good. So let's approach the system. Begin the factory. Sir, we have arrived in the Davos system at the coordinates from Gull Cardex pad, detecting Cardassian and Dominion energy signatures. Acknowledged. Oops, get rid of that. So what do I have on here in the interface of instability? Okay, so 
defeated scouts. Now we apparently have to defeat sentinels. Mittens is the pushier of the, uh... Hold on. Mittens is the pushier of the two cats when it comes to attention. Oh, it's up there. The map had me going this way. Alpha are more independent than the Gamma Quadrant. Uh, Gemadar, somebody must be leading them. Let's go. What's this? with something that to drain our shields pretty fast. Scanner said, what do you got here? Scan complete, sir. I am detecting numerous life signs, mostly Gemidar. It appears to be some kind of manufacturing facility. Based on the presence of a large amount of uridium, micantazine, I am detecting. My, my chemistry news are way behind me. Pronouncing some of these names is... <laughs> a little weird. I am detecting, along with the Gemidar life signs, I would venture... This is a Ketrasil White facility. Place to beam down. I located a cave just above the facility. It allow us to beam in and detect it. Yes, let's go. My proud away team. And there's my guy, who is waist-high on just about all of them, and can somehow magically produce lightning. <laughs> we have arrived in the cave just above the, the facility, sir. Scans confirm that this is indeed a factory for producing Ketrasil White. If we were to destroy this factory, it would be a great blow to these Alpha Gemidar and their True Way allies. A few well-placed charges could cause a chain reaction that destroys the facility. Protecting Cardassian and Dominion life signs below, sir. We'd best be on our guard. Okay. I'm guessing that this, these are the same charges that we used at the Romulan facility that are like the size of my character that I somehow just kind of pull out of the way. Down? There we go. Repel. Get off. Okay. Dirty. Okay. 
No anomalies in this place. useless to me. Probably just gonna dump it all when we're done. Secure, sir. The area just ahead appears to be a, 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 a laboratory detecting multiple Jupiter si life signs and one Porta. Let's go. Greetings. I am very glad to meet you. I am Naaman, a Vorta scientist, and servant of the Founders and the Dominion, of course. Are you pleased to see us? Oh my, yes. I have a proposition to which I hope you shall be amenable. I serve a Founder named Loss. He is one of 100 Founders sent here to the Alpha Quadrant. His actions have placed me in a bit of a moral conundrum that I hope you can help me unravel. Oh, I remember Loss. He, uh... He was like Odo. Because, yeah, Odo was one of the hundred founders as well. And they were, uh... Because it seemed like such a great idea at the time. They shot out a bunch of... The, the founders shot out a bunch of baby changelings into random spots in the galaxy to, to learn about the worlds that they landed on, and then eventually they would return to the Great Link. So Loss was like the first one that Odo had met. Let's see. Let's be insulting since we're clear on Morta with a moral conundrum. I didn't realize you had morals. Loss was the first of these Alpha Quadrant founders to emerge. He located and gathered the others into a new Great Link. However, he has not seen fit to tell these founders that the war with the Dominion is over, and that the Great Link is alive and well in the Gamma Quadrant. Instead, he has convinced them that you solids exterminate the Great Link, and are attempting to exterminate these founders as well. 
why do you continue to, to, to serve Laos? Several reasons. First, even if I do not agree with him, he is a god. Second, he is my only link to the other founders here. Finally, his Jem Hadar are fanatically loyal and watch me constantly. Although you seem to have mitigated that issue. If you serve Lao, if you serve loss, I have chosen to betray you. Betrayal is such an ugly word. I prefer to think of our arrangement as a creative solution to a difficult problem. But semantics aside, I do not feel so much that I am betraying Loss as liberating the other 98 Founders and serving the Dominion and the Founders. I do not believe they would want these Alpha Quadrant Founders to be ignorant of the truth. I also fear that if Loss continues his plans, it could result in the death of Founders. The morphogenic virus still lives in the memory of the Dominion. Well, what do you do here? I'm guessing manufacture the Ketracel White. My job is to supervise the Ketracel White production. While the Gem Hadar are mighty warriors, they are not the greatest scientists, nor do we wish them to have the secret of Ketracel White production. So what is this deal that you're proposing here? Loss keeps me away from the new link. They have been raised on his deceits, and so will be utterly convinced that you are attempting to exterminate them. I believe we can help each other. You can free me, and take me to the new link, where I can explain to the Founders the truth, that the Dominion still exists, and that you are not hunting them to extinction. Okay, what's the catch? Oh, I do not like the word catch. It sounds so mercenary. But yes, my price is Loss's life. After I reveal the truth to the new Link, you must allow them to mete out their justice. I cannot jeopardize the life of a Founder under any circumstances. Alright, then come with me. The area had appears to be some kind of command center. They have detected Cardassian and Gemini our lives. I'll be glad to get out of here. These Alpha Gem Hadar don't understand the proper respect owed to a Vorta. Intruders! I'll put up a force field! You dump the data! <laughs> it almost falls over. Enemy target. We've got to stop the first before he deletes all the data. Shall retrieve the coordinates. Go. Go do it. Defend. I'll stay in the force. 
get an enemy, not my own guy. the data. It will take some time to decrypt, but I recommend we depart as quickly as possible. Yeah, you know. Okay, now let's put the last charge. Yeah, get out of here. Cardassian domain energy signatures incoming. The charges on the s surface are ready to detonate. So command. Let's do it. You are so quick to blow things up. Such a waste. That factory might have come in handy someday. first. Seem a bit oh, now there's the attack group. Probably some bigger ships here. to your help. I want to thank you for your service to the Dominion. 
I also want to remind you of our agreement, namely that Loss, or any other founder for that matter, is not to be killed by you. I hope we don't regret making this arrangement. Yeah, get, get us out of here. And while it's doing its thing, I need to get a drink here. Report to the commander. It's easy. Congratulations on destroying the facility. That should cripple the Alpha Gem Hadar for the time being. But we need to make contact with this new link. Hopefully Naaman can convince them of the truth before it's too late. Keep a close eye on him. We may have a treaty with the Dominion, but that doesn't mean I trust them. Avorta's first loyalty will always be to the Founders. What do we want to take here? Rapid fire? Polar on full auto rifle? No. We don't need another ground weapon, or are they all ground weapons? Yeah, for the most part, our ground weapons are already better. Career specific, rear Mark 10. How can I help you? Congratulations, General. Yeah. Engineering kit and engineering. Oh, a seeker drone engineering kit module. That's actually pretty cool. That was the right choice. The new link. Naaman has decrypted the coordinates for the new link. They designate a location in the Alpha Quadrant, in the Oriya system. This changeling, named Lux, has deceived the other changelings in his link into thinking we are exterminating them, and that we massacred the Gamma Quadrant changelings as well. You must have Naaman help you convince them of the truth. How can I help you? First of all, leveled up, so... Advanced Engineering Readiness. So now all of the engineering... All of the, my ship's engineering skills will be... Their rechargeability is reduced by 20%. Corruption. Just got an upgrade. Weakening corruption. Oh, no, do I have to pick one? I do. So what do I want to give it? We got uh, energy weapon activation also triggers subsystem power loss. More powerful plasma damage over time. Uh, penalty to their outgoing damage for the for the duration of the, the, the skill. Additional plasma damage triggered by weapons activation becomes an area of effect that can hit other nearby foes. Uh, also suffers minus 30% outgoing damage. We got explosive corruption. <coughs> Let's see. This one gives enhanced, okay, more powerful damage over time. Same thing. Foe suffers a penalty of their outgoing damage. Yeah. Okay, so that's. So those are all going to be the same, I'm guessing. This is... Becomes an AoE. Target does not regenerate hull and receives less hull healing. I like that one. I mean, eventually we're going to get all three, so it's not a big deal, I guess, but... that was something better. Yes, the Seeker Drone. It creates a level 50 Seeker Drone. It doesn't do much damage. But I like it. It's better than waiting around for some of these mines to blow up. Let's see. Yeah, this is way better. Go down. 
Ah, it still says I'm doing 100 with it, so nice. Oh, but see, then this one says 100 as well. That's weird. Let's do the same for these guys. Yeah, he's way down too. Stick with what we got for now. Picked up a few weapons. Now this one's just better overall. Oh, because it's one mark higher than that one. It's the exact same weapon. So yeah, it's going to be a little more damaging. Dual disruptor bank. Let's go Polaron all over, all around. The Plasma Beam Ray. Yeah, that's more damage. Oh, that one has some nice effects, but no, we'll go with this. These are all turrets. I liked this one because it gives me some extra power, but it's not much extra power, so I should probably get something a little better. One of these two. This one's better, I guess. It gives me more speed and turn. in the Arise system. There's an M-class planet ahead. I am detecting gem and vessels in the, in the vicinity. I doubt they will allow us to reach the planet unscathed. You know. What's wrong with my shields? The gem Hadar will not likely be interested in negotiation. I'm afraid you'll have to fight your way through. Yeah, I know, but my, I only have two shields. Visual thing. <laughs> Come on. Who's first here? You.
What a waste. Still, the nice thing about Jim Hadar is that you can always breed more. Jupiter Battleship, that's the big boy. Almost within firing range. meet this new great link.
Come on. on Arias, sir. I'm detecting Jim Hadar life signs. We should be on our guard. You have to admire the devotion of the Jem Hadar. They never seem to tire of throwing their lives away for the founders. That one is a little speech bubble to get out of my way. Good, I can I can auto do this. Yes. Just make it whenever, whenever possible. <laughs> Just always make the secret drone. There it is. It's even more beautiful than I imagined. To think my gods slumber below, dreaming in their link. So that's... It seems like a lot. Like, it's supposed to be 99 changelings, essentially. And yet, it's that big? I don't know. Ah, there goes my drone. I love my new drone. Look at that thing. Let's go. I want to promote it to bridge officer. elements of the batch of Ketrasa White confirms that it was manufactured It's almost sacrilegious to have you here. I hope the founders will understand the necessity and forgive me. My drone has like a spinning blade on it, so like if anything gets close, <laughs> it will just use this giant saw blade. What am I? There it is. Retrieve the pad. To whoever finds this pad, know that you are 
know that what you are reading is an act of disobedience. And if you are reading this, I am most likely dead. We are programmed to believe that the Founders are gods, and infallible. But lately, I have begun to question Loss's orders. Some of his explanations no longer make sense. For example, he has been monitoring the transmissions from local systems, and none of them have any mention of this crusade against the Founders. One of my brothers says he went to a facility where Ketrazol White is being manufactured. He said there was a Vorta there, but this Vorta is kept almost a prisoner and does not command the Jem'Hadar there. Still, obedience brings, brings victory, and victory is life. Who are we to question the motives of a god? And when a god lies, is it still a lie? Defeat Lamont The Khan. other Vorta are going to be so envious when they hear about this. Call it the Emerald Maneuver. Oh, wait. Two guys are unconscious. <laughs> that uh, big Jim and I really did a number here. I'm already doing it. You don't have to help. Have you come to finish the job of exterminating us, Solid? We are not here to hurt you. You have been deceived by Loss. Impossible. We have linked with Loss. He is in the link as we speak. We know all that he knows. Then he must have some way of deceiving you. It is true that he awoke before us. Let us summon him to answer these charges. We have our own witness as well. It's true, Great One. These people are not hunting you. The I'm Great Link remains. The Dominion has a treaty with the Alpha Quadrant species. This creature lies. You have joined with me. You know all that I know. Then you should have no qualms about linking. No. These solids have poisoned your minds. I will not be forced to link by them. Ah! <laughs> Feet louse, okay. Uh, light. Got me frozen. I suppose he doesn't have, like, an energy. There's no point in crouching. Gonna keep shooting. No, target this change. Is it dead? No. 
well. Now he's just big. Back up and keep shooting. Stop. Really? Blanking damage. What? Ah! He's on his third health bar. Let me go! Get me in the, sh in the shield thing. Tell me he has another life bar. Okay. Although it is unfortunate we had to resort to violence to force loss into his liquid form, we are grateful for your assistance. We shall now be able to link and learn the whole truth of our past. If you are telling the truth, you have nothing more to fear from us. But we request that you leave us in peace. We have no interest in dealing with your kind. I hope in time you can change your mind, but we shall respect your wishes. Where are there? Klingons? <laughs> Well, it has been a pleasure knowing you. I will remain here and serve the Founders. They have been without Avorta and have much to learn about their siblings in the Gamma Quadrant. I know the Founders may seem ungrateful to you, but what can you expect from a god? Still, you have my gratitude, for whatever the gratitude of an insignificant servant is worth. Beam us up. We'll leave you with this equipment. Our little turrets and mines and shield generators are just scattered throughout the worlds. So. Sir Jim and our dreadnought warping in, they are healing. Although you have slain our brothers, we have orders to allow you to leave the system. But you are never to return. And let it be known among your peoples that this system belongs to us. And you are not welcome. Okay. I recommend we launch a beacon to warn other ships to not approach the system. Okay. Is this it? Looks like there's a small green circle here. Is it that blinking light too? Oh, launch a beacon. Stop, stop, stop. So we're still in the... Congratulations! You have defeated the true way and made peace with the Alpha Changelings. I have transmitted messages to the major powers of the galaxy, advising them to avoid the Araya system. Now, what do I want from here? A new 90 degree tetra, resonating tetra and dual beam cannon. A chance to do a lot of shield damage. This is a 250 degree. This is tempting. Plus 
plus 40 critical severity is really tempting. This is just the torpedo. Twenty second recharge. This is a ten second. Six seconds and 15 seconds. I mean, it's not the huge difference, I guess. But how much damage is this? So, 4,500. Okay, so this is 756, I guess. And he's due 3,114 kinetic damage. So, 756. I have transmitted messages to the major powers of the galaxy, well, these are all advising them to avoid the Araya system. What I have. <laughs> 583 damage on that. I think we gotta go with that one. That one's better than either of these Polaron beams. Congratulations! You have defeated the true yeah. way. Congratulations, General. Chancellor Jim Park is here in this camp. Congratulations! You have proven yourself to be a strong warrior and invaluable to the Klingon Empire. You still have challenges ahead of you. But I am confident that you will be able to do anything you set out to do. Good luck! Thanks. Don't particularly... If that's all you have to say, I don't really care, I guess. Captain Skill. Oops. Let's get some more of these. Warp core potential. So I only have to put in two more points in engineering to fully um, or to get all the upgrades for the EPS corruption. And the other one is more your energy transfer rate is faster, but I don't particularly care about that because I almost always have it in shields. So let's just increase the uh, let's get these two to increase our Power, how much power we just have as a base. So this is plus two to all subspace. This is plus, no, let's go with this one. And then we'll get that one next. And in the meantime, that means we get to choose one of these. How about just, how about, yeah, weakening, it doesn't matter. And we get another ground skill. Now that we have some more kits, we're starting to get a few kits that I like, so let's go with kit efficiency and get, keep that going. Our inventory is getting pretty full. two tribbles. God, we do have to do some inventory management, don't we? We don't need this anymore. What's gonna be the one to hold on to here? One of these. see those get with Klingons, so. And that's the only shield. I want to get rid of that. Yeah, 
let's get rid of it. Science. Oh, no, we can't even use that. I'll come back to these because I want to see if I want to use any of those on my shuttle. So many hand weapons. Shield restoration's good, perception's good, but it's not going to have any of those other things. Yeah, this one's actually probably the better fit. Salvage it. I can upgrade it though, so maybe I should hold on to it for a while. Yeah, let's salvage that too. Never gonna use it again. Okay, I think we're doing pretty good. Now I can decide, I suppose I should decide which of these weapons, which of these starship weapons I don't want anymore. Hybrid, hybrid beam. Well, that's that we can, we can't do anything with that either. Officer, hail clown. Oh, a Nausicaan engineer? Got a lot of engineers, though. Gorn tactical officer or a Nausicaan science officer? I 
have three engineers, but one of them's green and the other two are blue. I could get a purple one. My ship is all about engineers. I do have a rare tactical officer and a rare science officer already. This is so stupid. Yeah, yeah, I'll get an engineer. ship. I think we're going to get another slot soon, though, so I don't see the point in. And, uh, getting rid of someone yet. What's this? We need our best captains to work on teams on special task force operations. These are difficult missions that require a skilled team to work together. Come see me on Deep Space Nine, and I'll give you more information about task force operations. We need the help of Skill commanders, okay. Not real big on teaming up with other players, though. Go to Space Nine and meet with Admiral Devok. Do you have any questions? Get me there fast. I don't know that I, I could get rid of my green engineering officer, but I was, I was just kind of, when I was, had some downtime at work, I was kind of just going through the, the wiki. And I guess like your starting characters have unique um, skill loadouts that um, like shouldn't be possible with regular personnel. So like the first couple people you recruit, like that you recruit as part of the story, Part of the parts of the mission, they're kind of unique in that way. So I might hold on to him, and once I see what, once I'm able to recruit that guy, I'll see if it's worth keeping him around. But I'm not going to just get rid of him right now. I'm not even using that EPS corruption skill. I should see if I can get that auto to, to auto activate here. Yes, I can. Cruiser rank or above, sure. I'm looking for, I think they're just on, not an ops, I think it's the promenade. You'd think it'd be, because I'm, I thought for sure I, that I saw, last time we were here, there was something about it. There was something about it, and like I ran into one of the people in his office or something, and it was on the promenade. There's an interesting looking Jim Hadar. Okay, so it's, yeah, it's way on the other side. The see Chancellor me. informs me that you are prepared to serve as the member of the Honor Guard. I wanted to see for myself whether you are worthy. I have ties on both sides of the war, so I understand how difficult it has been for the Federation and the Empire. However, I think some things are more important than our disagreements. And fortunately, 
The Chancellor agrees. That's why I have been tasked with leading the fight against the Borg. We are the thin line that separates the Empire from Ruination. It is our job to take on the most impossible tasks and make them possible. Special task forces aren't for everyone, but the rewards for those who can complete them are worth the effort. From what I hear, you and your ship are more than up to the task. Completing my missions won't be easy, but I and my officers will do all I can to help you. You will earn the finest weapons and armor that the Alpha Quadrant has to offer. You will be able to outfit your ship with equipment that will make you the envy of your fellow officers. Even special personnel or resources will be available to you. Good luck. You're going to need it. Do you have any questions? Resolved the mission. Got the rewards for it. Speak to... Oh. Oh! Here we go. Borg activity has increased noticeably throughout the Beta Quadrant. Our new friends in the Romulan Republic have suggested a disturbing cause to the Borg presence near our borders. Tell share experiments with Borg technologies. Really? Talk to the Romulan ambassador on Kronos for more information and put a stop to this threat against the Empire. Serve the Empire well! That's right, he's... So we're doing this one, Report on Borg Activities. So this could be interesting if we're going to be engaging the Borg. just like probably five kilometers away from Deep Space Nine. I've read about those carriers, too, that it's advertising for there. I don't know. I mean, it'd be cool to have one, I guess, but... I don't know, it seems like for the most part you're like a sitting duck. <laughs> With, um... And relying on little fighters. I don't know, man. That's not... I mean, I guess this character, my ship is supposed to be pretty beefy since I picked an engineering character, but... I'm stuck. <laughs> Look at this crap. Shiar have gone too far. Their experiments with Borg technology not only put us at risk for provoking a hostile force, but also put us all at risk for being assimilated if one of their scientists make even one mistake. Okay. The Romulus Aid. A group of our people are trying to create a new homeworld. See, this capital city has erupted into fighting since she disappeared. So called saviors struggle for power. New ones rise and fall every day. We are witnessing the end of days of an empire. 
I belong to a group of Romulans who, like you, want to survive. With our leader, Datan, we are throwing off the shackles of our past. We reject secrecy and deceit in favor of democracy and cooperation. In creating a new world, we will remake our culture. We have found a planet we call Molharat Rihan. New Romulus in our mother tongue. It can be ours, but we have much to do before we can truly call it a home. Our government has authorized me to ask you for assistance. Our people have been in strife for too long. Can you look past our history and help us build a new world? Travel to New Romulus in the Beta Quadrant and assist Tan for the Romulans building a new homeworld. You will earn Romulan marks. New Romulus is an adventure zone with many world and instance missions for level 50 captains. Well, I'm not level 50. You will learn more about New Romulus when it ha and what it has to offer when you arrive. Okay. But go to New Romulus, but I'm not level 50. Oh, what's this? I need a capable ship and crew to check on reports of Borg activity in the Burgess system. The feature D is more than up to the task, and I know a true warrior such as yourself will be eager to test your metal against the Collective. Stay alert. There have been reports of other ships in that region, including Tel Shiar vessels. The Burgess system is well out of Romulan space. I'd like to know what their purpose is out there. I guess I'll accept that one for now. We hit 50, we can go to New Romulus. Plus, fighting the Borg sounds more interesting than going to New Romulus. Cats have settled down a little bit. Is I'm way up at the top of the map. Speaking of, let's see what we have here. Success. Critical success. possible. We'll get Gra I think I already have one of this guy, but he's still a blue character, so. Reclaim assimilated Borg drones. You'd think that would give you, like, duty officers that are Borg drones, that are former Borg drones or something, but I guess not. So we gotta do the defection. I guess we can do both. Sure. That looks like that's all we can do. Okay, let's do this one. Where angels tread. Where angels fear to tread. Sorry. Dwarfed and right in. This of the Romulan Star Empire vessel RNA. We are under attack by Borg scout squadrons. This is a formal request for assistance from any ship receiving this message. Do not abandon us. We we cut that a little close. Um. Okay. Okay. Let's let's ignore that.
Man. Yeah, that was a very weak cube, or you're just... To any ship in range, this is the IRW RNA. My ship has been attacked and disabled by the Borg. My crew are being assimilated. The self-destruct is offline. I have retreated with my surviving officers to the main science lab. If you can hear this, I formally request assistance. If there is no one who can respond to this message, then may we die with honor. Let's go. I don't think we have weapons remodulation. Thank you for coming to our assistance. Four drones have beamed aboard the RNA and are attempting to assimilate my crew. Several of us have barricaded ourselves in the science lab. We need your assistance to prevent our ship from being assimilated and to save the rest of the crew. Hey, we're here. reading about an item that, like, you equip it and it remodulates your weapons. Because the board will adapt to them. Except for, obviously, like, melee weapons. But I don't think we have those. Or, we have any, or at least we haven't replicated them. I was reading that you can replicate them. have the ability to adapt to energy weapons in order to use energy weapons effectively against them. Equip yourself and your bridge officers with frequency remodulators. There is a supply of them not far from your current position. Oh, that's convenient. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I guess we don't have to worry about that. There should be enough remodulators in that crate for your entire way team. If you ever need more, you should be able to replicate them easily enough. Change frequencies. Activate the power in your skill tree. Work it to your weapons. Okay. Very convenient indeed. Okay, well, let's do that then. Otherwise, it wouldn't be so bad for my guy, because I have a melee weapon. Let's see if we can do any as much damage. Maybe they adapt. Or I can just switch to the...
I was gonna say, I saw the one, so I was like, I should probably scan how many are there. Come on, scan it. They all had prisoners in them. Why, why couldn't I see them? They blended in so well. Place the security lockout. The Borg have disabled the force fields guarding the science lab. We managed to fend off the first wave, but we need your help. Get to the lab and stop the remaining drones. Okay. Thank you so much for saving us. The Tal Shiar were using us as test subjects in their experiments. Borg technology. Only a few of us survived their investigations. I know that they'll do anything to preserve their empire. And I've seen with my own eyes what they and the Elachi did to the outlying colonies. But I didn't think they would be this cruel to their own people. You're safe. That's the Alachi again. I need to go look them up. Drones incoming. Destroy them before they reach the research equipment. The research equipment? You mean the stuff that you stole from them? Get right up in their grill here. Oh, a leech tactic. Yeah, I bet I'm taking some damage. I bet I'm right up. Right up with them here. Where are they? Whoa! overhead swipe. to 
investigate the Romulan research? Oh, oh, Scanner I'd shall know further Borg presence aboard. <laughs> Thank you for your aid, but I must ask you to return to your ship at once. Our research here is critical to the survival of the Romulan Star Empire. I cannot share these secrets, even with our rescuers. What exactly are you trying to hide? Answer. Well, good thing I'm nosy. Studying salvaged Borg devices. Bear in mind that this technology is now the sovereign property of the Romulan Star Empire. My engineers tell me that our engines are online, so your further presence aboard my ship is neither necessary nor desirable. You are our enemy. Your assistance does not change that basic fact. And it can be like destroy you as soon as I be back, because you're being kind of a prick. In addition to apparently drawing the Borg to the corner of the, to this corner of the Beta Quadrant, so... Kinda wanna just blow up your ship now. Range sensors show a Borg squadron approaching at speed. Essential repairs to our singularity drive are almost complete. If you can occupy the Borg and give us the time we need, I will overlook your intrusion on our classified research. Get your engineering running will fight the Borg. We'll be taking that Borg technology with us. Yeah, let's take it. Energized transporters. How dare you! Advantage <laughs> of my ship's vulnerability, but you cannot escape the wrath of the Tal Shiar. Do not think that your actions today will go unpunished. We will find you, and when we do, you will return what you have taken with interest. Yeah, yeah. Go away. Defeat Borg reinforcements. Just apparently a sweet move. Doing some decent damage to our shields. What kind of ability is this with? Well, Come mines, get him. You're right next to him. Taking more of a beating than I thought it would. Ooh, drop something. Wait, survive the Borg Armada? Finally. Singularity Drive is online. Our scanners show more ships approaching. I hope you enjoy the spoils of your theft. Enjoy defending them from the ball, that is. We are responding to a distress call from an IRW RNA. Normally we wouldn't provide assistance to the Tal Shiar, but the Borg are a threat to all of us. However, you appear to have things well in hand. Do you require assistance? Yeah. Yeah, if there's, some, if there's an armada coming, I think, yeah, I need assistance. So far, it's just one cube, and we kind of destroyed it pretty quickly. <laughs> Get within minimum firing range. <laughs> oh. Okay, or that warbird can just apparently destroy it, too. That works for me. <laughs> Q 
cubes are not all that scary. <laughs> what? Where? Where? Try to escape with the property of the Romulan Star Empire. Lower your seats and prepare to be boarded. Yeah, no. Ooh, so now we get to fight Romulans. <laughs> Tractor beams. <laughs> there you go. Get him. Just a shield array mark ten. It's not like any sort of special shield. It's just shield array mark ten. Depart the system and then report to that guy who contacted me about this. Captain Krev. I spit on the Borg and the Tal Shiar. I don't know what's worse, General. Those soulless machines are honorless, pointy-eared schemers. However, I am pleased at the outcome. Your ship is now prepared to combat the Borg wherever we find them. A personal shield array. Reduces favors or damage by 20%. Chance to knock down foes when you take damage. Chance to damage the attacker when you take damage. This is a warp core. Minus 15% weapon power cost? Oh, that's interesting. Plus 15 resistance to subsystem power drain. Add 7.5% of your weapon's power to your engine power as bonus power. <laughs> Repairs offline weapon system plus 15. This sounds interesting. I may want that. Well, cons okay, compared to that, yeah. Compared to the, just a, the personal shields, I think we're going to take the warp core. Congratulations, General. Ah, oh, we leveled up. Explosive corruption. We've maxed that out. Nice. Any more points we get, we should probably put into shields. Improved shield regeneration. Shield mastery. Negate an incoming critical hit once. Eh. I'd rather just have better shields. If so I could get that. That's not as good. Because that's just when you use an ability. I'd rather have the passive skills. So yeah, I'm thinking we'll probably go with advanced shield regeneration next. And then I guess any other points we can try to go for shield mastery. So we got a new warp core, huh? And yeah, it is way better than this current than our current warp core. <laughs> Maximum warp factor is currently 6.67. 
this uh, 9.97. I think that's great. Do we pick up anything else? Starship Perception. Does that mean this is a better warp core? Yes, yes it does. <laughs> Here's our shield array, Mark 10. There's a lot of maximum. It doesn't re regenerate very fast. Still, it's double this one. Does that mean it's the same on here? No, this has more shields. Well, that one... Oh, okay, it regenerates because it's on a bigger ship, so it works better. I see. Ah, what do I want to do? Reduces plasma damage to shields by 20... That's not bad, actually. Less shields for more regeneration. Ah, uh, man. I guess we'll do it. Plus, according to its value there, it's way better, so... I don't get the cool look on my ship anymore, though. That kind of sucks. Let's put it on... Oh, no, that's cool, though. Yeah, I like that. No, I can't use a tactical kit. Nanovirus. The Borg aren't just assimilating individuals anymore. They found a way to assimilate entire areas. They infect the technology, the water, the flora, even the air. After that, it's only a matter of time until the entire planet is Borg. If this process is allowed to continue unchecked, they'll assimilate the entire sector, and from there, they could assimilate the entire Federation. Then there would be nothing to stand between the Borg and the... Wow. That's kind of telling. But they're worried that if the Federation goes down... Yeah, that's that's an that's kind of an interesting admission there, Captain. <laughs> Starfleet had a team working on a counter agent on Omicron Kappa Two. However, Starfleet has lost contact with the colony there. They fear the antivirus has escaped and the colony has been assimilated. We need that team and the data they have collected. Our defense plans are useless without them. Let's see, I'm sending the feature D to the Omicron Kappa Two system. Find the research back. I don't need to tell you how dangerous this is. I mean, I guess it makes sense that we're in alliance with the Federation against the Borg. But yeah, just... I don't know. Oh, we're not even that far from where we're supposed to go. Just auto-navigate to it. It's right here. In the meantime, we've got two complete, two things completed. Oh, we got two prisoners for that one. We have 16 prisoners. We gotta find some missions that let us, like, turn them in or execute them or something. Sanctuary in court space. I've got I'm full on refugees, but I can't do
do this. No, officer, I don't have a refugee. Oh, I have colonists. I don't have refugees. <laughs> Never mind. That's too bad. Establish the trade route, yes. Do more of these. And... Oh, that's all I can do. Gathering darkness. Let's begin. Kappa 2 has been largely assimilated by the Borg. They're using the planet as a hub for their ships in the area. They're sure to be aware of our presence. However, we're picking up an emergency signal from the surface. That may mean the research team has not been assimilated. If we want to send an away team down to the find the research team, the first thing we'll have to do is engage the Borg patrols and find a safe location for our orbit. Well then... Let's, uh... Probably should kill them. Or see the other anomaly right in front of the planet there. Okay, full impulse until we engage. Sure. See, yeah, I was gonna say he's just about to hit me with something from my shield. Oh, I am getting... Oh, 
Ah, shields are down. Shields are down. this protecting is a science console power in Slater mark 10 there are no additional patrols on the sensor sir but they are we are detecting a high concentration of Borg on the planet surf I would never have guessed we're also picking up energy signature of a large data data node which means the Borg have connected the entire planet to the collective Starfleet believes that the research team can be saved and that they may have the information we need formulate a treatment that can save multitudes from the Borg nanovirus. Let's go. It's the five of us and first officer drone. I'll call him Sparky. Since they're detecting numerous Borg life signs and a few non Borg life signs, are coming to proceed with the Yeah, okay. So they adapted to my weapon last time. Our modulator thing here frequency modulation. Set it as my quick power. Sparky. Thank you. Your arrival could not have been more timely. My fellow researchers are still at our camp and require your assistance. There are Borg in the area. Okay, then let's go. Again, let's make the map a little bigger. Assimilate like a worm or something? Or is it just a cable? A self moving cable. Oh! I'm guessing that they're cables because they're all connecting kind of from the same direction. Kind of just from the center moving out. Sensors are detecting numerous Borg life signs headed this way. Recommend we prepare to defend the area. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's... I had that thought myself. What are you doing? Why are you getting closer? I'm having trouble telling if they've adapted or if I've... Oh, yeah, that's not what I was saying. Or if I was just too far away to actually do any damage. Now I'm doing damage. Okay, 
Captain, we are receiving a request for transport from some scientists on the surface. Yeah, take them, please. Thanks for the rescue. My name is Dr. Eric Cooper. My team and I were researching the Borg nanovirus. It's fascinating. The Borg have been using it to assimilate entire planets. The land, the buildings, the people. Anyway, during the course of our research, the nanovirus containment failed. The nanovirus activated and assimilated enough equipment to signal the collective. Way to go. We cannot allow the Borg to continue using this nanovirus. I think we have enough data to formulate a counteragent, but we'll need to recover it from the area that's already assimilated. That's why I stayed behind. I can get you inside the compound, but then it will be up to you to recover the data. Can I count on your assistance? I guess. Thank you. I'm in your debt, as is the entire Alpha Quadrant. Lead the way to the force field. I mean... I guess I can clean up your fuck up. Let's modulate while we're doing this. They're adapting to like one of my bridge officer's weapons and not mine. It always seems like I'm not doing much damage. This up, I can't use my. It's a hassle to use my light because I gotta be inside that thing. Wait for Cooper to reach the controls. Oh, I gotta get close enough for him to do that. Do it. Oh, he almost died. Oh, now I have to protect him. Hello, everybody. We've got our hand working out for us. I should just use my freaking battle. I feel like I'm doing some damage. I've overridden the force fields, but the Borg detected the intrusion into their systems. They'll know you're coming. Head into the facility and locate the central data node. We don't have time to search for the right files, so simply transfer all the information to your ship's computer and hold off the Borg until the transfer is complete. I'll stay here. I'd probably just get in your way. Okay, then drop the force field. Get out of sight. Can we like beam him up? That probably seemed like the safest option. Oh, there's oh, there's two anomalies. That's one, right, I guess. Rah.
for a minute, apparently. There's the other, uh... I hear board. Or I hear them uh, shooting at them. Where are they? You. You guys handled them as well. You can take this guy. Are they just gonna keep coming? Probably, let's run. <laughs> Alright, ship sending down orbital strikes though. Going to Thrak? What is that? Species 8472. Right? I think so. Yeah, focus on him. I need you back here! Undine troops are beating down! They're focusing on the board, but they'll find me soon! So I guess we can just run through it, looks like, because it doesn't say we have to defeat any, let's just frickin' go. It looked like the board just abducted that Undine. But that's pointless. Undine can't be assimilated. Unless... The board must believe they have found a way to assimilate the Undine. We... Uh, ah! Dick. Use your melee attack. I'm, I'm freaking trying to use my melee attack. I don't know why my guy kind of stalls out sometimes. Conscious people, and I'm about to be one of them. Oh, I'm so close to death, and I am dead. Started me at the beginning of the level, so Dr. Cooper's way down here. He's probably being eaten right now. Uh, yeah, they're kinda hitting him. Pretty sure he can't die, otherwise he's dead by now. Thank you. 
powers. Okay, how about now? Can I finish this conversation now? It looked like the board just abducted that Undine. But that's pointless. Undine can't be assimilated. Unless... The Borg must believe they have found a way to assimilate the Undine. We have to stop them. There's probably too much interference to transport, but there are some pattern enhancers nearby. Those should help us get back to your ship. Yeah, I, thought I, I thought we used some in their little camp over here. There. Yeah, beam us up. We're not at the pattern enhancers. <laughs> Captain, the Borg Sphere is escaping with the Undine captive. If they are able to return it to the Collective and assimilate it, just imagine what they can do with the un with Undine drones. It looks like the Sphere is being pursued by an Undine ship. Excuse me. Let's go. Follow the Borg ship. What? Full impulse. They're out of sensor range. necessary. <laughs> uh, cybernetic cure-all. We recovered an anorite from the The Borg Sphere has gone to warp, sir. Followed by an Undine ship. I was able to isolate their warp signatures. We should be able to follow their trail. We should report back to the Klingon Defense Force and then follow them. Really, then follow them. I guess I could, I mean, can't we, like, hail them over on the way? I never imagined that the Undine would destroy an entire world to prevent the spread of the Borg. It's kind of what they do. Many lives are lost here today, Captain. But even more were saved. Let's contact the defense force. You managed you managed to recover much of the data about the counter agent in the nanovirus. Since the planet was destroyed, hopefully the Borg have not had enough time to adapt to the counter agent. The Borg will adapt in time, of course. Oh my god. I mean, you learned so much. We must slip we must stay one step ahead of them. What can I get now? Targeting integrated targeting arm. Critical chance. Health and shield. That's actually pretty good. Recoil compensating armor. What's the difference? 37 and a half, 25, 45, 5%, 5 33. Oh, critical severity. <laughs> okay. So they're the same except for the critical hit chance and critical severity. This is more physical and kinetic damage, which that's not as good as energy damage resistance. You don't that's more for like melee attacks. You don't see too many of those. Really, it comes down to do I want critical chance or critical severity? My critical chance. Congratulations, General.
then we'll work on shield mastery. Again, we have a boatload of hand weapons. Sniper rifles are terrible. the new armor. Everybody needs freaking upgrade. She doesn't. You have. I think that's good. You though. Yeah, you need a new one. There we go. Even though you're not on the away team anymore. mission here. Let's see. General, the Undan vessel you are tracking from the Omicron Kappa 2 system has been sighted near NGC 4447. Borg ships have also been detected in this area. While there are no populated systems in danger there, we still need to know why the Borg and the Undine have escalated their conflict now. Go find the Borg sphere that took the Undine from Omicron Kappa 2. The answer is we need specific, very rare Mark 10 kit reward. That's what I'd like to see. So I guess travel. Probably not that far away. something and I can't remember what it was. Whatever. Begin the mission, who cares? Captain, I'm detecting the wreckage of the Undyne ship. It could be the vessel following the Borg Sphere that captured the Undyne prisoner. We must stop the Sphere before it can return to the Collective Fleet. Any information the Borg could learn from the prisoner could upset the balance of power. Confirmed. This wreckage matches the energy signature of the Undyne vessel. 
uh, that followed the Borg Sphere that captured the Undying Prisoner on Omicron Cap 2. It appears to have been destroyed recently. We must be very close. Sir sensors detecting Borg Sphere dead ahead. Emission signatures indicate this is the same sphere that we've been pursuing. Well, that's good. rifts open into fluidic space. The Borg have tangled with the Undine in fluidic space before, but they were defeated. They were unable to assimilate the Undine. Without that, the Undine were able to push them out. If they're willing to send a force into fluidic space again, the Borg must think that they have adapted in a way that will allow them to defeat the Undine. The region is ours. This region is ours to protect, sir, and our orders are to eliminate the Borg threat. I recommend that we engage the Borg and the Undine and secure the area. Um, I guess?
least there's that. What? Didn't cloak? Dimension, they must have some purpose for it. They may have even adapted to the point where they can assimilate the Undine's organic technology, or even the Undine themselves. I am detecting Undine ships about to emerge from the Singularity. Perhaps they are trying to rescue their ship as well. The Undine vessels are heavily armed, sir. I would recommend avoiding a conflict. You just had me... <laughs> you just had me engage, like, everything, dude. Picking up Undine life signs on the Borg cube, Captain. If the Borg transported Undine onto the cube, they're either testing a new assimilation process or they've already learned how to assimilate them. Imagine defending the Empire. Didn't you already say that to me before? We have an opportunity, sir. The Borg cube is damaged, and it will take some time for it to be fully operational again. We, will take, we can take advantage of that and configure our emitter array to tempor temporarily block the cube's link to the collective. That will give us a chance to beam aboard and stop the Borg from completing their assimilation process. It's dangerous, but this may be the only chance we get. Let's do it then, I guess. Oh, Bub's back. Just gonna lay on the blanket next to me, though. Good Bub. Lay down. Here, play with my phone. She likes to think she can get my attention whenever she wants by, like, laying on either my phone or the remote control or the controller or something. The cube has been damaged, sir, and has entered a regenerative state. Based on our encounter with the Borg, Tliss system, we know that they do not see most humanoids as a threat and will only enter combat in their own defense. A vital component of the ship is threatened. If we don't engage them, perhaps we can locate the Undine without having to fight. There's a background frequency that has interfering with my tricorder, but I believe there are Undine life signs somewhere on this level. Perhaps if we get closer, I can cut through the interface. Okay. Oh,
let's pick a fight. They just send them all at once. My science officer is trying to tell me something. I didn't notice any force field at first. Is it this? I'm guessing. It looks like it would have a force field. I'm definitely detecting Undine life signs ahead, sir. Something appears to be wrong with them. The patterns don't match the information we have available on their physiology. Gee, I wonder why. Red dot. 
there's nothing special. And I am now detecting one more Undine's life sign, but I'm picking up Borg's sick. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I see. 
they succeeded. Um, yeah, you, you, you come to us. And I think I'm gonna hit you with lightning. Which seems to have like done nothing. I probably shouldn't be doing a, a close combat here. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Anyone set up their medical to the medical generator? I'm about to die. I did die. Hopefully he doesn't regenerate a bunch of that damage. So he was taking some damage. Okay, the shields are gone. Frozen. Lightning him. Oh, he's already defeated. Overload the vinculum. Let's do that then. out of here. No, we left First Officer Sparky. Oh well, I'll rebuild him. Sensor logs indicate we have successfully prevented the Borg from sending their findings to the Collective. However, we have no choice but to destroy the ship to prevent the Borg from recovering the data. Well, yeah. Looks like the Undine destroyed the Borg Cube before we had it. What? I destroyed it! Congratulations, sir. We have prevented the Borg from learning to assimilate the Undine and discovered the location of the Borg foothold in fluting space. I'm sure we can adapt their technology to open a singularity into fluting space. But first, we should report our findings to the command. Yes. Yes, depart the system. not being there with you. A fight against an Undine with the technology of the Borg? It must have been glorious. I guess that's one way to, one thing to call it. There is more than we need to learn about these mysterious creatures from food space. I know I can count on you to fight for the Empire. And we get to pick something. A Borg prosthesis. Not bad DPS. 5% chance to do plasma damage. This one is Borg Shield Neutralizer. Massive 2% shield regeneration. A medical. Okay, so it's either like an engineer, or maintenance engineer, or tactical. So what's the medical one? Uh, radiation damage for 2.5% chance for radiation damage in a 10 meter radius. Not bad. And 5% chance for 12 plasma damage per second per 10 seconds. Ignore shields. Uh, holds for 2.5 seconds. Repeated after four seconds. That's kind of cool. I like that one. DPS and uh, and a freeze effect. 
How about the tactical one? The medical one actually does, like, slightly more... Does one more DPS than either of the other two. This one can do plasma damage for 5% chance for plasma damage. Uh, knockback. More plasma damage. No, I like I like the hold. Plus, it seems like it... Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna oh, congratulations, <laughs> General. Level up. Fluid dynamics. The data... Oh, and we got a... Uh, an engineering kit. Oh, let's see what that does. The date you recovered... Or the data you recovered from the board cube indicates that the Borg ever established a foothold in Undine space. The Undine seemed to make very little distinction between alien races. It's quite possible the Borg presence is causing their aggressive behavior. War with the Undine threatens to engulf the Alpha and Beta Quadrants. And, while it would be glorious, it is not the battle we need to fight today. Therefore, we have set aside our enmity with the Federation to, to assemble an expedition to remove the Borg presence from fluid space. We found a system where the fabric of the two dimensions are breaking down. This is our best shot at creating a stable quantum singularity. Maybe we should fix that part of space afterwards? The expedition will include the Starfleet vessel USS Voyager, commanded by Admiral Tuvok. Ah, oh, okay. Voyager's an old ship, though. At this point. Must have upgraded. We have shared the, date, the data you received from the board cube, and Tuvok believes he can create an artificial singularity. Your orders are to cross into fluidic space, locate the Borg, and destroy them. Try not to provoke the Undine. The Undine, it is not your day to die. So we'll get some Undine marks, apparently. Adaptive Transphasic Torpedo Mark 10. Borg. <laughs> and we get to choose from here. Well, let's take a look at what we got here. Like I said, we can work on shield mastery now. Shield absorption, shield reflection are next. And we got some new stuff in the inventory. Is that a kit frame? Weapon proficiency, personal shields expert, and armor. Oh, that's that's good. We're gonna go with that one instead. What's this shield? Oh, I can make a shield generator. My own shield regenerator now. What do I want to get rid of? Probably the mine barrier. This force field is actually pretty useless too. Science officer would have better proficiency with the hold techniques, so I'm thinking you should get it. We also got some new armors, didn't we? Yeah, you you can use that armor. What about you? What is your weapon? Plasma stun pistol. I do like the stun effects, but Sun effect is better. I like that more. DPS on this is kind of atrocious. It sort of is on my weapon too now.
just give me the high DPS weapon. No, this... I don't know why it's reducing it to half the damage when it's on me. Because this is should be way better. Whatever. I don't know why it's doing that. So we'll keep it that way. Anyway, we should probably get rid of some stuff. Discarded it in salvage. Keep a shield around. It's not gonna be that one. That one's apparently better based on damage. A lot of this stuff I could put in this, the bank, so I probably should. Oh, I already have these two, but these aren't as good, so let's salvage these. Um, that's right, I have some uh, melee weapons. I could give those to my guys, but I don't... It sounds like we're going into Undine space, so I don't know the, how useful they'll be. Now nah, they've got the remodulation stuff, too. It's not worth it. It's fine. a lot. Just recycle them since I'm not using them. training manuals in there too. I'm not going to use them anytime soon. 
wait until I'm at max level to deal with that. And as much as I'd like to use these. Looks like we're approaching the uh, three hour mark, and that's kind of my limit. <laughs> so, I think we're going to end it there. And when we come back, apparently, we're going to try to kick the Borg out of fluidic space. So, next time on Star Trek Online. Fluidic space. Anyway, as usual, this is John Crate signing out.